was back with the Renegade. Quick little update for y'all. Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not know. This Renegade, a while back, Swamp, got it on good deal. I done stripped everything down. Uh, I just about done, got all the powder coating done. I only have uh, powder coat. I gotta do the drive shaft. Yes, I know it's thinking, don't get it on the spine tonight. I'm just gonna do the middle part. You gotta do that, and then I have some nuts from the tire box. That's not important, but I gotta do. And then uh, I got underglows for it already. I got half of them, only got four. I got eight. I don't know when the other two are supposed to be in. It's supposed to be in sometime today. Uh, yeah, motor wise, everything's ordered. I ordered it a couple days ago. I don't know when it's supposed to be in. It still says processing. Yeah, ended up 975 big board kit. Uh, Mr. RPM 800 drop in cams. I did new crank, everything. Uh, the 570 motor, which came out of it. This motor is, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I think what I'm gonna do is, it's, the crank is in good condition. It's no scoring on it, no rod bearing build up, nothing like that. So I think what I'm gonna do, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. It might need to be re-machined, I don't know. But, I think what I'm gonna do, bottom end seems good. I'm gonna clean it up. And I think I'm gonna order a top end for it. Just do it back to a 570. And then either I'm gonna keep the motor, sell it, not sure. But I could rehome these cylinders, but I don't wanna do that. And I gotta get new pistons anyways, there's a shot. But for the motor build, I'm gonna use this motor that I happen to have on hand out of a 650 Outlander. So it was out of 18, so it's a Gen 2. It definitely needs to be cleaned. I'm about to pull a case apart in a little while and clean everything out. It, it, yeah, it, 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 it slung a, it was about to sling a rod. Yeah, both sides are no good. So it's getting everything new. Only thing that's being reused is the block. But I'm gonna go and get it checked out. I'm probably gonna get Miller Motorsports to press in my PTO bearings and main bearings. I hope everything checks out in here. There ain't nothing ridiculously wrong with it. I mean, I know all that shot but i got new rods i got new crank assembly everything jugs all the way up all the way down whole nine yards uh but yeah i am going to stay with the 570 trans so i have the good low end um what else yeah uh oh yeah i got these grips i don't say i forgot to measure them so i just guessed got the wrong size of course got 120s if you're ever going to get these the odi lock ons get the 130 millimeter these are 120s too short gotta send them back got a new set order i'm gonna do the lock rings that go on the end of them they're gonna be matched to the blue uh yeah how else do y'all think i should run i have stock exhaust right now not running that uh once i get the motor done get it built I gotta get it put back in of course i'm gonna have to do you know not just motor i'm doing I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. I'm either gonna do an 850 throttle body or a 1K. I found an 850, haven't found a 1000 yet. Not sure on which one I'm gonna do. I got a buddy with some 1000 stock injectors. I'm gonna do 1K injectors. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm do for now, I wanna do a CV Tech primary and I wanna do a STM secondary. But for now, I ain't got the money for all that. I ain't that big balling. So for now, I'm just gonna throw a 1K primary on it just for the time being. And then a little bit later on, I'm gonna buy CV Tech for it. I know it's gonna make a big difference, but it'll work for now. Motor specs, um, on the big bore kit, I did the 800 big bore, which is a 975. I'm doing, I ended up getting the 12 to one compression ratio. So maybe I won't have any problems with starting it up, stock starter battery. I might have to run a dual starter wire set up, so maybe that'll help. Might do that. I should be getting the Mr. RPM forged pistons, not the cast, or the Carrillo forged pistons, not the cast. Do some powder coat, and we're gonna do the drive shaft for it. Do a little walkthrough on that. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of this heat tape. That's the only thing I found to work decently because I don't want to get powder coat on the splines because I don't want a chance to do them golden up or nothing like that. So I'm going to wrap just the ends of it right here, cover it up with the heat tape, and then we'll get the powder We got our tape. Let's see if we can get this to work. We're going to get it stuck up on there. I'm going to stick that right there. Looks a little rigged, but hey, 
That'll do it right there. Let's go powder. Y'all recording? Yeah. Hey, y'all don't make fun of my setup with the ladder, but hey, it works. We got our blue. Got to load it up real quick. Let's see, where's my airbag? Here we go. Oh. One minute, I got to let some air out. All right. Round her out. Going around to here. Alright, let's throw it in the oven now. Unhook the clamp. I'm gonna try to carry it without dropping it. If that happens. And this big old oven so I can do dry shafts. <laughs> it's actually not that big. Great investment. 10 out of 10. Probably would not buy again. Turn her on. I don't know why it flashes like that on camera. At our time. What do you come on? Let me see. there we go. Set her down two minutes. One, two minutes. I'm gonna do one it's small. One set. And then we gonna let her rip. Come back in approximately ten minutes. Yeah, powder's done. Shut the oven off. Just open her up. Finished product. Ooh, look at that sparkle. Love that illusion, blueberry. Yeah, that part right there, that's where I had the hanger, but it ain't gonna matter. That's gonna be covered up by a boot. That was the easiest way to hang it, and it won't fall in, so I'll wipe all that off, and then uh, we'll throw it back in there. Put the boots on, throw some zip ties on it, and then I'm gonna make another video of that, and I'm gonna make a video of putting all the arms, shocks, everything back together. And if y'all would like, I might do a video on putting the motor back together. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the product. Ooh, look at that sparkle. Love that illusion, blueberry. Yeah, that part right there, that's where I had the hanger. But it ain't gonna matter, that's gonna be covered up by a boot. That was the easiest way to hang it. And it won't fall in, so I'll wipe all that off and then I'll We'll throw it back in there, put the boots on, throw some zip ties on it, and then I'm gonna make another video of that, and I'm gonna make a video of putting all the arms, shocks, everything back together. And if y'all would like, I might do a video on putting the motor back together. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next product. Ooh, look at that sparkle. Love that illusion, blueberry. Yeah, that part right there, that's where I had the hanger. But it ain't gonna matter, that's gonna be covered up by a boot. That was the easiest way to hang it, and it won't fall in, so 
I'll wipe all that off and then I'll uh, we'll throw it back in there. Put the boots on, throw some zip ties on it, and then I'm gonna make another video of that and I'm gonna make a video of putting all the arms, shocks, everything back together. And if y'all would like, I might do a video on putting the motor back together. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.